Hello, my name is Nicole Watson and I'm a senior consultant at Concentris. Today, I want to share with you a save search I created um, called Inbound Shipment Order Execution Status. And the goal of this save search essentially is to show you the status of your inbound shipment records for related purchase orders and the items and where they stand as far as being in your warehouse in transit or possibly not processed yet. The first step for um, creating this save search, I'll share my screen here, is going to be for you to go out to create a new safe search. So I'm using the classic NetSuite interface. If I go to reports, new search, my search type that I'm looking for will be inbound shipments. So I'm gonna scroll down to my eyes because they are alphabetical and I will find then my inbound shipment search. So I would click on inbound shipments. I would then click create save search because this is a search that I wanna use repeatedly over and over again. So I click create save search. And then this would then start the building of my save search. The inbound shipment order execution status save search results would look like this. Um, you could see that we have from the inbound shipment record, um, the vendor on my inbound shipments, the purchase orders on that on the records, the items related to the purchase orders, what's actually been um, what's on the the inbound shipment as far as quantity, what we're expecting on those inbound shipments to come through, and then the three statuses. So what's in warehouse, meaning that it's been received, what's in transit indicating that this is likely on open water. In my scenario here, I'm in the United States and I have goods uh, shipping from China. So it could be on a boat coming in. And so these would be my head mark, had been marked in transit on the inbound shipment record. And then what's not processed. The, the three fields here essentially, um, it's gonna take the quantity and the difference then between quantity in a warehouse and transit to calculate what's not processed. So for this first item, you'll see item A, we had uh, 3,000 on this inbound shipment record. We've already received 1,000. There's 1,000 in quantity on the water and 1,000 left to be processed, meaning it hasn't been um, marked as in transit. The second item listed here is B. Uh, the inbound shipment is set for 4,000. We have 2,000 that we've received thus far. Nothing is in transit at the moment, and we are waiting to get notification that the remaining 2,000 has been marked in transit. So this has not been processed yet. And then last but not least in my example here, item C for a quantity of 5,000, we've received 4,500 of it. The remaining 500, is um, out on the water in transit. And, and of course, then the difference would mean that there's nothing left to be processed for this item quantity related to the inbound shipment record. The details behind the inbound shipment order execution status save search look like this. So I wanted to share this with you, the behind the scenes <laughs> information. Uh, so that you can build this save search uh, in your instance, right? So I didn't do anything special at the header of the save search here. You know, I'm the owner. I gave it a search title that made sense to me so that if I come up into my global search, I can find it quickly. Uh, you could always save it in your shortcuts as well. If I come down to the criteria, so the criteria for me, I wanted a date created just because there was some other information in this demo account. Um, so I would say that under criteria, it's likely that you don't need a filter, um, but you know you could add dates in here if you wanted to have specific filters on, on the results. Going to the results sub tab, I am ordering it or sorting it by shipment number, which would be the inbound shipment because this is a save search um, it is an inbound shipment search. That was the specific type that I had selected. So I'm sorting by the shipment number. Continuing down to the columns, uh, the columns in my results that you had seen um, would be, you know, vendor, PO, item, quantity, what's in my warehouse, in transit, not processed. And there's also this expected delivery date, which I will get to. Um, the vendor itself is the field items vendor. 
I am grouping by vendor uh, to get to um, a, the visual save search that I'm looking for. The PO has an items PO field that, that I'm also grouping. And then the items item field, uh, these are all fields on the inbound shipment record. I'm grouping that as well, and I'm renaming them so that I kind of, you know, the items on here is a bit redundant. So I'm just putting vendor PO and item in my custom label. The fourth column of information that we would see would be the quantity. So this is gonna be the quantity for the item from the purchase order. So in here, I used a formula numeric field. I am summarizing it to the maximum because I didn't want it to like add or, you know, um, multiply essentially my quantity values in my save search. So I'm using the maximum as my summary type. And the formula is grabbing this field here. So it's purchase order dot quantity. And what that is, is it's going to the related record of the purchase order and grabbing the quantity from that purchase order itself for that item. The next column of data would be what's in my warehouse, right? So that is a specific field from the inbound shipment record. It's called items quantity received, and I'm summing that. So it's totaling them all up for me. In transit is also another field on the inbound shipment record. It's called items quantity remaining, and I'm summing that. The not process, so this is just a text field behind the scenes um, when you drill down into the data. It's not part of my summary save search. And then we see the not processed column of information, right? So this is another formula numeric where I'm summing the information. And it's taking that max purchase order quantity, subtracting what's been received, and then adding whatever quantity remaining is sitting out there, right? So it's doing a formula of sorts. And then the last column of my data when I drill down into detail is expected delivery date. I can show you that here in a minute. So that's the save search. I don't have anything else under highlighting or filters. You know, audience on a save search, I have actually set my audience to public here. So anyone can see it that has permission to, to, to get to this through their role. Um, otherwise, you can specify a certain audience or certain roles to have access. As save searches go, you can email results. You can see audit trails and execution logs as well. But for the most part, it's this results sub tab on the save search. The type, again, as a reminder, was an inbound shipment search. So coming back to the results, the, the summary results of the save search, we can see here, I'm gonna reload the page. We can see, again, the vendor, the purchase orders, the items, the quantity, what's in the warehouse, meaning it has been, the inbound shipment has been received. What's in transit, and this would be, you know, kind of it's out on the open water, and then what hasn't been processed, so it hasn't been, you know, marked in transit essentially yet on the inbound shipment record. And then when I was talking about some of those other fields, when you drill into the detail, so an example here, if I go in and I just clicked on that item, I brought up the item, and this is where, you know, the quantities get, get a little precarious, I guess, when you're looking at the detail. Um, but if you just keep in mind, and that's also why we use the max on the summary, so it doesn't give me 6,000 in my quantity. Um, but essentially, looking here at the detail, we know that we have one, the one purchase order for this item that I ordered 3,000. This is where you see that there's 1,000 in a warehouse and 1,000 in transit, and there's nothing in the not processed yet. Um, showing, you know, if we went back to the summary, this is where we see the 3,000, 1,000, 1,000, and then the remaining balance is essentially the, the addition or subtraction of 3,000 minus 1,000 minus 1,000 leaves me 1,000 left. But if we go back into the detail, I just wanted to share with you is that this in transit essentially shows me that expected delivery date. So if you're looking, you know, and you're wondering, well, when is that in transit expected to come in? You can then go into the detail and see an expected delivery date if that's important to you. This concludes my short and sweet video. Thank you for watching.